Free Limo Party candidate Daniel Chapo won the presidential elections with 70.67% of the vote, according to results released Thursday by Mozambique's National Electoral Commission. Independent candidate Venancio Mondlan finished second with 20%. The candidate for Renamo, Mozambique's traditional main opposition party, won less than 6% of the vote. The result cements the power that the ruling Frelimo party has held since Mozambique won independence nearly 50 years ago. Some analysts predicted Frelimo would hold on to power, despite the enthusiasm young voters expressed for Mandlan ahead of the vote. The terrain is already prepared. Uh, regardless of what we see, the enthusiasm, the dynamism of the young people that are rallying behind uh, this opposition candidate, but we know that the status quo will prevail. Mondlan has said the vote was rigged as his camp was building a case to challenge the election results. Two prominent members of his party were shot and killed last weekend. While some say the shootings were politically motivated, current president Felipe Nussi who condemned the killings, warned against jumping to conclusions. Earlier this week, police fired tear gas and bullets at opposition protesters in Maputo, while observer missions from the European Union and Southern African Development Community have yet to give final assessments of the October 9th election. The EU mission said this week that some of its 179 observers were prevented from observing tabulation processes in some districts, provinces, and at the national level. But some analysts say the political rise of relatively young candidates like 47-year-old Chapo and 50-year-old Mondlan is still a good development for Mozambique. The youth have arrived in Mozambique and I think that that's a good thing for Africa. And this is the first time that we see a turnover uh, from the, the, the liberation, um, liberationist group. Uh, in Mozambique. And so this is this is good. I hope that they bring youthful energy and they focus on the issues that are important to young Mozambicans. Kweku Nwama says those included poverty and insecurity issues in the northeast, where the government is battling insurgents in the gas and oil rich Cabo Delgado province. What's going to happen in Cabo Delgado? Uh, we've, we've seen the SADC uh, troops leave. Now you have Rwandan and Tanzanian troops about there. Are they going to stay? Um, in terms of poverty, what's the plan ahead? Uh, you know, the World Bank shows that uh, Mozambique's uh, po real poverty numbers are around like 62%. People need jobs. People need um, to have some uh, promise, some help from the state. Meanwhile, runner-up candidate Mondlan has called for two days of national standstill and peaceful protest. A spokesperson for the U.S. State Department called on Mozambicans to reject violence and to use peaceful means to pursue electoral grievances. Mariama Diallo, VOA News, Nairobi.